All right, here's some big news coming in from the pole-bound state of Gujarat. Prime Minister Modi, as he speaks, lashes out at the Congress party. Prime Minister slams Congress's Aukat of Modi attacks that have been made. Prime Minister says, discuss development, not my Aukat. Modi says, Congress ignores the key issues and discusses Aukat, my Aukat. What happened to all the developmental issues that ideally are supposed to be addressed? Instead, they are speaking about me and my Aukat. Congress netas are from royal families. Can't, can't expect better from them. Prime Minister Modi, as he speaks on stage, hitting out at the Congress, questioning the Congress's Aukat of Modi attacks. This in, and then Prime Minister there pushing the Congress to discuss developmental issues and less about him. Let's take a listen as Modi speaks. So, Bajap to Jabarjas and no record there. Bajap, Jadish Bajap, 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 मोदी को उसकी औकात दिखा देंगे अहंकार जो भाई अहंकार जो मोदी को उसकी औकात दिखा देंगे अरे मां बाप समय तो बता राज परिवारों छो वो तो एक सामान्य परिवार नु संतान छो मारी कोई औकात नहीं बापा समय मारी औकात दिखावानी अरे हूं तो सेवक छु सेवक छु हूं तो सेवादार छु अने सेवक के सेवादार नी वडी औकात होती है से अरे तमे मने नीच पण कयो नीचे जाति नो पण कयो अरे तमे तो मने मौत नो सौदागर पण कयो अरे तमे तो मने गंदी नाली नो कीडो पण कीदो बद्दु कीदु भाई तमे बद्दु कीदु अबे तमे औकात बतावा निकड्या छो हमारी कोई औकात नहीं मेहरबानी करीने विकास ना मुद्दा नी चर्चा करो all right, let me cut across to Pankaj Upadhyay, joining us live from Surat. Pankaj, a quick word as Prime Minister Modi ups the ante on the Congress, accusing them of deflecting attention from real developmental issues to try and criticize the Modi uh, government. That's, that's precisely what uh, the Congress is doing and that's futile exercise. Speak on real issues like development, don't attack me. There isn't a point in it. Uh, give us the context in which he's spoken. Nabila, Gujarat has become a political battleground now. Now, the less than 10 days uh, for the polling for phase one, and we've seen how the Bharatiya Chanta Party has now put in the entire star power behind the Gujarat elections. Just a few days back, the Bharatiya Chanta Party had campaigned on all 89 assembly constituencies. These are the 89 assembly constituencies which will be going to poll on phase one. Right from Narendra Modi to Amit Shah to Nitin Gadkari to Yogi Atitana to Devendra Pandavis, Arurak Thakur, everybody have been campaigning in various parts. And these leaders, the star power of the Bhatia Janta Party has been not just attacking the Amati Party, but they've been attacking the Congress Party as well. High are the stakes for these elections, and that's precisely the reason why Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself has been campaigning at very assembly, various assembly constituencies. And we just heard what Prime Minister Narendra Modi had to say. What, in, what one important point here is that the Bharati Janta Party is trying to emphasize yet again and again in their various speeches in various campaigns is that they have done a lot of development over the years which the Congress party has been denying and that's the reason why Narendra Modi, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been saying don't talk about his Aukat, talk about the development that, that has taken place which you are denying out here and the Bharatiya Janata Party maintains people of the state have seen the development that has taken place and it is on the basis of the development that uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party will come back to power. Right now I'm reporting from Surat, this is the Mahua area in Surat, and Rahul Gandhi will be addressing a public meeting in just a short while. So you can expect that perhaps Rahul Gandhi will be replying to what the Prime Minister has said. 
Uh, apart from that, uh, at, uh, at 2 p.m., we'll have Rahul Gandhi addressing this meeting here, this public meeting here at Surat. And then at 3 p.m., Rahul Gandhi will be addressing another public meeting at Rajkot. So while on, other, uh, while on one hand, the Bharatiya Janta Party, as I said, has put in his entire star power behind these elections. And we had, on the other hand, the Amadmi Party, Sadwin Kejriwal, also campaigning at various constituencies. Now the Congress Party realizing that it also needs to push in its might, go extend its limit. And that's the reason why Rahul Gandhi, who's left it Bharat Jodo Yatra and has come up here to campaign here for the Gujarat election. It's going to be very interesting to see what Rahul Gandhi has to say. Over the last couple of days, we've seen how Rahul Gandhi has been very vociferous, uh, criticizing the Bharatiya Janta Party, be it the issue of lack of development in Gujarat, as he says, or the issue of Savarkar as well, which really became a talking point over the last couple of days. So what does he have to say here in Surat and thereafter in Rajkot? That would really remain to be seen. As you see on your screens right now, a massive crowd has gathered here in the Mahua area of Surat. Now, Congress is focusing in this area because Congress says that it has a very strong hold in the rural areas, and whereas the Bharatiya Janata Party has, has some sort of a, uh, you, you know, a be better uh, deal here in the urban areas. But the Congress says that it is going to retain its hold in all of the rural areas, and it will show a good performance in the urban area as well. But that really remains to be seen. The results are going to be out on 8th of December. But as I said, Absolutely. the stakes are you know, high. Uh, Pankaj do stay with us. I'm going to also quickly cut across uh, Dev Ankur, who's also at that, uh, who's currently joining us from Mesana, Gujarat. Dev, a quick word from you as we hear Prime Minister Modi point by point rebuttal to all the insults hurled by the Congress Party uh, against Modi, saying that we will show him his Aukat. Uh, the Prime Minister says, You don't have to show me my Aukat. You first speak on development and how to uh, bring Gujarat, make Gujarat a developed state and do a lot more than what we've done. Then we'll talk. This is what he says as the campaign heat picks up in the pole bound state. Well, Nabila, clearly, you know, in Gujarat, what is happening now is that it has turned into a major uh, pitched political battle, primarily between the Congress and the BJP. Narendra Modi, remember, has been invoking the Gujarati pride, the Gujarati Asmita time and again. You would remember that in 2007. It was the Mot Ka Saudagar comment by Sonia Gandhi which costed Congress that election. Thereafter, it was the Nietzsche comment by Manishankar Ayer, which once again it is said in political parlance costed Congress another election. So, uh, uh, Narendra Modi quite clearly knows that uh, the situation out here is something which, you know, the Aam Aadmi Party has been talking about development. Uh, the Congress, on the other hand, has primarily been silent, not been speaking much against Narendra Modi. So it's been a change of strategy when it comes to the Congress. But the fact that uh, Aam Aadmi Party has been talking about Parivartan, has been talking about good schools, better education, free electricity, and has recently won in Punjab, okay. and before that in Delhi, means that BJP on one hand has to, you know, uh, counter Congress. Yeah, and, and we're seeing this counter opposition. politics happening. Of course, as the poll heat picks up there, we see backlash on both ends.